Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is April 7th, 2019. In this episode, we will learn how to express mathematical formula in technical documentation, especially DocsDen, HTML, Markdown, LaTeX using Visual Studio Code. More specifically, we will learn how to express mathematical formula or expressions in the technical documentation such as HTML format using DocsDen, Markdown, and LaTeX using Visual Studio Code. We need to install four extensions such as for easy editing C++ comment block for DocsGen documentation, we will install DocsGen documentation generator by Christoph Schillose. We will also need to install for PDF generation using Markdown, Markdown PDF by YGen. For editing and rendering mathematical formula using Markdown, Markdown plus math by Gosner. For editing LaTeX documents, LaTeX workshop by James V. And we will also remove or disable one extension VS Code PDF. It conflicts with LaTeX workshop. To follow this episode, please watch these videos. In this series of videos, C++ developers environment, I filmed the five videos so far. Please watch all these videos if you want to follow this session. Also, we require some knowledge about LaTeX. If you haven't tried LaTeX before, then please double click this link and watch this series of video. Mrs. Michelle Crummel, she teaches LaTeX tutorials very well. I highly recommend this series of video if you do not have experience in LaTeX. Now let's get started. Start your file explorer and create a working folder. I will create math formula, then double click the folder, copy the folder path. Please note that we created a command prompt in our previous episode. Right click your command prompt, right click once again, properties, paste the folder path in starting field, click OK. Now start Visual Studio Code, go to File, Open Folder, paste the folder path, select Folder. Currently we have blank folder, click this button, APP root, and click this button once again, Documentations. Then in APP root, click this button, Mess hello cpp before we start we need to install doxygen documentation generator this extension click this button search this is the extension we need to install click install okay this extension is installed close this button now Press forward slash and star star to star enter. Then you will have this kind of message. We will make some changes to the settings. Go to file, preference, extension. Once again, go to file, preference, settings. Here, click extension. Then Doxygen Documentation. This is the extension we want to change, modify. You can change author email. I would change Thomas Kim. Talk play fun dot com. And scroll down your name Thomas Kim then okay now save all you can close the settings we will delete this file once again for the slash 
to star, hit enter, then you will have this message. Tutorial for mathematical formula in our C++ code. Then here, I create a function like this, int distance, int x1, int y1, int x2, int y2. Now here, forward slash to star, then enter beep. The distance between two points P1, X1, Y1 and P2, X2, Y2. We can change these things, mathematical formula like this, the distance between two points, backward slash f dollar x underscore one, y underscore one, backward slash f dollar, and backward slash f dollar x underscore two, y underscore 2 backward slash f dollar is defined as backward slash f dollar backward slash sqrt these are curly brace backward slash f dollar then we give expression x underscore 2 minus x underscore 1 power 2 plus y underscore 2 minus y underscore 1 square parameter x1 for backward slash f dollar x underscore 1 f, f dollar we copy like this This is y1, this is x2, this is y2. For distance, we copy this text like this. Now here, we do calculation, return sqrt x2 minus x1 times x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1 I copied like this we need to include I will include here include IO stream include CMS we need to provide a semicolon here. Now we create a function main int main stdc out distance between 2.2 and 1.1 distance 1 1 2 2 std and there. Uh, now we build this program, start your command prompt, dir cd app root clang plus plus mess hello cpp o c e x e. Okay, clang work, gnus compiler g. Now Microsoft compiler CL EHSC FE 
m e x e c e x e walk g e x e walk m e x e walk i think there is something wrong it should be double double and double 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 we have to fix like this it should be double and here i made mistake like this i fixed like this and also i have to fix this like this now let's try once again we will use clang okay now it seems to be working fine now we create this into Daxian documentation like this start your Daxian taxi wizard this application if you cannot find this icon then right click search taxi wizard then you can start this application too like this now here file explorer click this path once again paste it then here my first mess formula and i will just skip this source directory paste backward slash enter please select this folder this is source folder then scan recursively destination folder select paste once again then select this folder documentation folder click next all entries include cross-reference source code output next with navigation panel then next use dot tools call graph called by graph next select export now we will run it first what's wrong now let's save in this folder just save now click this button I think it hanged if your system hanged then st click stop taxigen start your your file explorer select system program files gs from here click pim folder copy this file copy continue right click rename it should be win 32 c exe then start again now it's working properly now start to show html output file file list now we see this documentation scroll down here you can now see point x1 y1 x2 distance this these are mathematical formula our comment section is properly resolved as mathematical equation if we zoom up you can find the mathematical formulas are blurred this is because this is generated using as graphic image if you right click you can see save image as so these things are all generated as image 
I will save it here, downloads. Then in downloads, right click, view, extra large. You can find this is image file. Okay. So I will close it again. Then in Doxygen, Export, HTML, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Use MathJax. Click this button. We will save it. Save once again. Then run here. We are running once again. We display. It runs much faster. Files. File list. APP root. Here. Now we can see these are in text format. These are text format, MathJax text format. If we zoom up, they are still intact. They are still resolved. So this way is much better than using LaTeX. Now close it. So if you want to use mathematical formula in HTML, I prefer using MathJax. In the HTML, export mode HTML, please select use MathJax, this option. Now double click, click this button. We now want to add more files here. Click in blank space, click this button, main page MD. MD is markdown file, click this button. Now we need to install two more extensions, Markdown PDF by YGen and Markdown Plus Math by Grossen. We will start with this one, Markdown PDF. In Visual Studio once again, paste, hit enter, then you can find this extension, install. Okay, it's installed. I will close it. And we will install one more, this extension, Markdown plus Math by Gozen, Gozena. Copy, paste, hit enter. This is the one, install. Okay, it's installed. Now close it. We will create our Mass formula markdown. This is our first mathematical formula markdown. The distance between, we can use latex syntax here. This is the latex syntax. X underscore one, Y underscore one, and dollar and dollar x underscore 2 y underscore 2 dollar is defined to be dollar sqrt curly brace dollar parentheses then here x underscore 2 minus x underscore 1, carat 2, y underscore 1, y underscore 2, minus y underscore 1, carat 2, square root. Now, we open this, click this button, right click, open preview. So, our markdown is displayed like this, go to view, Edit layout, two rows, then we can move it down like this. We close it. When? Please note that when I modify this markdown text, this is rendered automatically. When? Two points, dollar, p underscore one, x underscore one, 
y underscore 1 dollar and dollar p underscore 2 x underscore 2 y underscore 2 dollar are given the distance between these two points dollar p underscore 1 and p underscore 2 is defined to be dollar like this is defined to be like this as soon as we modify our md file the result is displayed like this now here in this episode we will learn how to express mathematical formula in our C++ code using Doxygen. Okay, so it seems to be working fine. Now save the file, then start Doxygen again. Doxygen wizard, select export, select input, click this button, main page MD, click this button, copy this file. Please note that you have to select input here, scroll down, use md file as main page, paste it here, then save, run, run Doxygen. So we have some error message found unknown command sqrt. If we show it, this is our main page. Please note that it does not work. It does not work. Okay, to fix this problem, please note that in our code, we used backward slash app. Okay, so I copy this text. I copy backward slash app backward slash app now here in our md file in our md file i paste like this or well, you can find and replace if you want to okay we modified like this Please note that the output, the result is a little bit corrupted. But with this modification, we run Doxygen again. Show HTML output. Now it is fixed correctly. Okay, so we We have distance function like this is documented properly and if you click this one you can see the code here main page gives our main md file this md file the contents of this md file this md file is generated like this the mathematical formula in this md file is properly rendered in our end result. Click files, file member, functions, and distance, double click it. Say, watch this part. This is not resolved as mathematical formula. If we compare with main, our main page, we can fix this. Click this file. This is the point here. It should be fixed like this. Backward slash app dollar. I copied and paste it here. Copy, paste it here. Paste it here. And we turn it to latex syntax like this. 
we modified like this then here once again run doxygen show html output file file member function now it is rendered correctly so in our source code C++ code source code when we prepared for Doxygen we have to prepend backward slash app in front of dollar now we learn how to use latex in Visual Studio code we need to install latex workshop extension copy click this button paste it here hit enter then this is the tool click install now latex workshop is installed we can close it in file view click in blank space click this button latex tex the extension should be tex file extension here this is latex when you see this message latex update version or latex workshop is incompatible with the vs code if you see this message then click this button enabled we have to remove vs code pdf double click it we can disable or we can uninstall i will disable it then i close it in latex file once again document class 11 point article backward slash begin document and document in between this is our first dollar late text document the distance between two points dollar p underscore one dollar and dollar p underscore two dollar is defined as dollar backward slash sqrt curly brace x underscore 2 minus x underscore 1 square plus y underscore 2 minus y underscore 1 square now click this button this button this button is created new click here double click it double click this button once again save all if it turns to work then save all close it run visual studio again then in latex file text button is created double click it what's the problem go to file preference settings text editor files scroll down auto save change it to delay after delay modify it to 5000 it means 5 seconds after 5 seconds the document will be saved automatically save all now close this latex 
view VS Code tab once again. Let's make uh, some changes here. Okay, it's building. You should see this message. Let's be terminated with error. Sorry, I made mistake here. Dollar. Okay, then after 5 seconds, it is building again. So these files are generated. Latex. Double click this button once again. Okay, now it's displayed. I will move it up. Scroll down here and move it here. So whenever we make changes to the latex source file, after 5 seconds, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it builds again. It saves and builds again. Then it is displayed, updated. The document is saved and is built again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now it's building again. If you want to build more frequently, then go to File, Preference. Please note that Auto Save should be selected. Settings, Text Editor, Files, Modify, Select Auto Delay, Modify the Time. For example, one second. Okay. Then save all. Then close it. After one second, the document will be saved and is rebuilt like this. Please watch this message. So it is updated like this. Instead of using this way, I would prefer editing here. I would edit markdown file because it's much faster. Then I will copy and paste markdown source to latex file like this. I copied Markdown file, copy, then paste here. I will enable it, paste, then after one second, it is built and updated like this. This way we can edit mathematical expression or formula much faster and efficient. To be frank with you, I am just beginner of latex and markdown. I learned latex by watching this series of video, latex tutorials by Ms. Michelle Crummel. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.